Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do some custom hand lettering using brushes in Photoshop by using a pen tablet. Now if you don't have a pen tablet this does rely on the pen tablet pressure but you can still watch this video to pick up a few tricks about the brush palette and the brush feature in Photoshop and maybe see how these type of pen tablets work. So let's get into it. Now in Photoshop when you're brushing with a regular brush, you can see it's just a circle and it's not like the tip of any normal brush and it doesn't have any pen pressure applied. So no matter how lightly or hard I push down, nothing happens. So if you open up window brush, you can see there's actually a bunch of things that can adjust about the dynamics and the shape of this brush. So let's go ahead and turn on shape dynamics and as for the size control, we want to turn it on to pen pressure. Now that's going to show us what the stroke of our brush is going to look like if we're putting the pen down lightly or harder. However, we're going to do one more thing to make it more like the tip of an actual marker or something that's not so perfectly round like a brush in Photoshop. So if you head over to the brush tip shape menu, you can adjust things like the size, the angle, and the roundness. And you'll see this little tool here for you to rotate the angle and squeeze the sides in and out but you can also type them in so for the angle I'll actually turn it onto like a 15 degree angle and the roundness is the key here so you want to work with more of a highlighter type of edge rather than a pinpoint so if I turn the roundness down to 25 percent and let's turn the hardness down to about 85 percent just to play with it you'll now see what it looks like when I brush in Photoshop so now you'll see if I do a light stroke, it's lighter. If I do a hard stroke, it's harder. And since the brush is on that 15 degree angle, that means when I'm going left to right, it's gonna be thin. And when I'm going up and down, it's gonna be thicker. So just to show you guys how you can use this to create some custom hand lettering is if you've got good lettering handwriting, and that's something that I'm not practiced in at all, so don't judge the final result, but just judge the technique here. You can write out words with this new brush and it's going to get more of that custom handwritten feel that you might see on Instagram or more like an actual pen and paper. So don't judge my handwriting. It's not the best. I have not practiced custom lettering a day in my life, but for those of you that are more into lettering, this is a cool way that you can use the brushes menu in Photoshop to transfer those actual handwriting skills into the brushes in Photoshop. So play around with the angles, the shapes, there's so much variety you could get to and try to work a little bit more non-destructively than I did here. You could always work on a new layer so you can have things separate from your background and then apply these hand letterings onto photos and incorporate them into other graphics. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave me a comment below, tell me what you thought. And if you're new to the channel, then feel free to subscribe. I post all types of Photoshop tutorials and other creative how-tos on here. Also, if you guys wanna check out more creative things and behind the scenes with me, definitely follow me on Instagram at Justin Odisho, just my name. I'll post all types of creative photos and behind the scenes and just stuff that I'm doing. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.